Out of all the tech wars that have gone on throughout the years, none has been fiercer than Android versus iOS. Each operating system has their pros and cons, but Apple has created something that makes it really difficult for iPhone owners to want to switch. Many of them are happy with what they have, and that's exactly what Apple wants. Hey guys, this is Jonathan with Retethered, and these are the top 5 reasons why iPhone and iOS is better than Android, and why the iSheep are staying exactly where they're at. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on tech news, reviews, and opinions. Let's get started. At number 5, software updates. Yes, we've all heard this one before. Android stinks at getting the latest software update. If you own anything other than a Pixel phone, you may have to wait months or sometimes even years to get a software update. Well, that doesn't happen with iPhones. Everyone who owns an iPhone gets the latest update as soon as it's available to the public. Plus, Apple has a knack of supporting many older models of iPhones, so you can be sure that the iPhone you buy today will be supported for at least 4-5 to five years. Google with their Pixel phones, they only guarantee 2 years of software updates, and you can expect much less from other Android manufacturers. At number 4, Resale Value. Many people will say iPhones, because of their enormous price tags, are a horrible value. But what they don't remember is how great the resale value of the iPhones are. For example, you can buy a refurbished iPhone 6S Plus, which is over 3 years old, on eBay for about $230. Now compared to an Android phone, for example the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, which was released just a month before the iPhone 6S Plus, you can find the Galaxy Note 5 on eBay refurbished for only about $130. And that's actually good. When you compare it to other Android phones, for example the LG G5, which was released a year after the iPhone 6S Plus was, you can find a refurbished LG G5 on eBay for only $90. So even though you may think that the iPhones are a horrible value and you get much more as far as hardware goes with an Android phone, you can't deny that iPhones hold their value much better than any other phone. At number 3, Applications. Android has come a long way from the old Android App Store days. The Google Play Store has approximately 2.6 million apps and the Apple App Store, which used to be the king of apps, has almost 2 million apps. But the amount of apps one platform has doesn't really matter anymore. It's more about quality over quantity and the Apple App Store is the king in that area. The iPhone consistently gets faster updates on apps than Android does and in fact most new applications come out on the Apple App Store before heading over to the Google Play Store. Oh, and by the way, you can only get Apple made applications on the iPhone, as opposed to Google made applications, which you can get most of them on either Android or iPhone. That means you can get Google Maps on your iPhone, but you can't get Apple Maps on your Android phone which you probably wouldn't want anyways. At number 2, Operating System and Software Features. Android has always been the king of customization, and that's why the Android fanboys love their operating system. It's one of the reasons why I love Android. But if you want something that just works great, that's reliable, easy to learn, and does everything you need it to do, the iPhone is the phone for you. Android's features are great, 
but the operating system at times can be unreliable. It can slow down, and depending on what phone you buy, you may have a different version of Android or a skin version of Android that you have to learn all over again. For example, the Android skin on a Galaxy S10 is different than the Android skin on an LG G8. Settings are all in different places, locations are in different places, even the buttons, the back button on the Galaxy S10 is on the opposite side of the phone. That's not the case with the iPhone. Sure, the new navigation gestures you have with the iPhone 10 and 10s are different than previous models, but once you have that down, you feel right at home. The software features are also really great on the iPhone. Face ID is still unmatched, and small things like recording your screen is so much easier on an iPhone. With Android, you have to install a separate application, and it doesn't work nearly as great. And don't even get me started on bloatware. Unless you own a Pixel phone, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, and there's this little thing called iMessage. I heard a lot of people love that by the way. At number one, the Apple ecosystem. What makes it really hard to move away from an iPhone is all the great products that works great with it. The best smartwatch you can buy, Apple Watch, hands down. Well, it only works with an iPhone and iOS. How about Bluetooth earbuds? Which are the best ones you can buy? Well, the best one in my opinion is still the AirPods. And even though they can work with Android as well, they just work so much better with iPhone. The same thing can be said with the iPad and the MacBooks. Even though you don't need to own an iPhone to use these products, when you have an iPhone, those products just work so much better. iMessage can be used seamlessly on the iPad and the MacBooks, and transferring photos or data between these devices is so much faster by using AirDrop. That's also not including the Apple applications that you can only use on the iPhone, like Apple News and Apple Music. If you're a fan of any of those services, you have no choice but to use an iPhone. And that's what makes Apple so smart, and the reason why it's the richest company in the world. They hook you with the iPhone first. Then, they throw that Apple Watch at you, which works so great with the iPhone. Then they toss in the iPad and show you how great it works with your iPhone. And before you know it, it's impossible to leave the grasp of Apple. It's both the best reason to be an Apple owner and the worst reason if you ever want to make a change. What do you think of our top five list? Which smartphone do you prefer? Let me know what you think with a comment down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And once again, subscribe for more tech news, reviews, and opinions. Thanks for watching.